The NHL continues to be shut down. Uh, Penguins had a game with Boston tomorrow, canceled, or at least postponed. Toronto, Wednesday, postponed. So, guys, I want to ask you about this league. Why have they decided not to play when teams in the NFL and the NBA are playing, even though they understand, you know, that they got to deal with this virus moving forward? So, uh, Will, we'll start with you, uh, your take on that. Well, I mean, I think, look, the, the NBA and the NFL made allowances for this. I mean, like, in the NHL is finally figuring it out. I mean, today, they, as part of their announcement tonight, they're going to reintroduce taxi squads so that players have guys right there if they get dudes to test positive. I mean, I'm sort of with you, Pop. I mean, I'm sort of like, what was the point of getting the vaccine if, if in your, in your a controlled environment where 95% of the people you're around are, are also vaccinated, if, if guys are asymptomatic, Treat it like you would treat the flu during the season, the NFL team and NBA teams doing just keep and play on until they're symptomatic and can't play. But I understand there are bigger public safety things, and I'm not going to try to sound like a complete idiot here, so I'll pass it to Paul, let him do that. <laughs> but I, I think they should try to find a way through it because what was the point? And I think they are I think they are now. I mean, I do think the Texas squad gives them a little bit of wiggle room that they didn't have before. Speaking of idiocy, testing people who aren't sick is idiocy, and that's what they're doing. And if you take any control group in anywhere and you test them, mass test them all the time, you're going to find out that a lot of them are asymptomatic and have coronaviruses in them. It's just, it's, not, it's actually, that's quote unquote science. And so the bottom line is, as you said, this is the most vaccinated league of them all, if, if, if we're to believe what the, you know, the, pub, the press releases and whatnot. If guys, aren't, if guys are vaccinated, or even if they're not, if they're not symptomatic, why are we testing them? It's, such a, it's an obsession that needs to go away, or the NHL just needs to go away, one or the other. But this is silly, what they're doing now. It's absolutely silly. But I don't know for sure, and I, I read the releases from the NHL and, and sort of the, the, the news stories that are written. I, are they doing this because it's a health and safety, or they do it for competitive reasons? So they, they cancel the game or postpone the game with the Maple Leafs because they have 14 players that they can't play, so they figure that's unfair to that team. Or are they doing it because they think it's an L? I don't know for sure which it is. I don't know if what their rationale is behind it. Now, I guess you could say either way, the testing either if they're asymptomatic, it's not a health issue, and if they're not testing and they don't and, and it wouldn't be competitive, that could be solved in those terms. But you are, I, I do think the reason why the NHL is different is the Canadian government has a much different approach to this. Yes. And I just like that we began this this show talking about Canada and, and now we're ending the show. There's one on ending. Not that Canada. Canada. Matt Canada. Yes. <laughs> Matt Canada. Yeah. <laughs> we got to take a break. When we come back, Peach Bowl, Pitt is playing. We got two semifinals taking place this week. We'll get the prognostication out next right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Show.